Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We've been out for just a little bit of time. A little sickness is going around in the house. I just wanted to come and talk to y'all and discuss some things with y'all. So, a little bit of haul here, not very much going on, but we do have some really good deals and some not so good deals. So, the green beans were on sale at local price shopper in my mom's area. Now my mom's going down and she should be completely located in Florida in November. So she won't be up here around us anymore and I'll be super jealous that she's in better weather than we are. And I honestly think this winter is just gonna be kind of crappy. The cold is coming on fast and strong out of nowhere. So with that being said, prepping is definitely gonna be our priority on trying to get the house ready because I don't like going out in this weather. So we did get some green beans, 12 were downstairs. I'm not gonna have the kids bring the other 12 up. 12 are here, so 24 cans of green beans. They were on sale this week for 49 cents a can. Now I did look at my local Walmart here in Kansas City, Missouri off of Highway 40. So if you're in the Kansas City area, and I know there's a couple of people that said that they are within my generalized area on Highway 40, they do have the Great Value Canned Green Beans and the Great Value Canned Corn at 50 cents a can. Everything else is 64 cents and higher still, but those two vegetables are at 50 cents. I don't know if they're gonna lower them permanently or if they're going to lower them for the meanwhile and then raise them back to 64 cents. But highly suggest that you go out and grab you some if you can. Now. What I'm looking to do is get 108 cans of green beans and 108 cans of corn. At 50 cents a can, that would end up being $54 for, for those uh, cases of each um, when it comes to the nine cases of each. So we'll see if I can get my hands on that much in that amount of time before the sale goes off. So that would literally stock me up in green beans and corn, and then I would have to move into our next vegetable. So... One of my main focuses is gonna be canned vegetables. Another one we'll be talking about here in a minute is gonna be canned meats. So there you go, there's our veggies. Check your local Walmart, check your local stores. I do know usually during Thanksgiving and Christmas they do put some vegetables on sale, but this is even before Thanksgiving, um, even a month before Thanksgiving, and they have corn and green beans already at my store at 50 cents per can, for the great value. All right, we have got one, two, three, four bottles of mouthwash. This mouthwash will be put down in our stockpile that we are rebuilding again. Now, one thing I learned a long time ago from Prepper Pants, or, I'm sorry, Prepper Princess was that take your mouthwash, take half of it out, fill it back up halfway with water, shake, shake, shake. This is a lifesaver. Not only will it turn these four bottles into eight bottles of mouthwash and I apologize my kids behind me are a little bit loud on what they're doing behind me they're cleaning up some things um Jesse's putting some more ramen noodles into their containers over there their packages but this will also allow you to not have your mouth burn while you're using mouthwash and when I was a kid one thing I hated was trying to keep mouthwash in my mouth long enough to do what it needed to do to cleanse my mouth to gargle and all that without burning my mouth too much where i needed to spit it out and then hurry and re-rinse again with water so it takes that potency down because these are highly potent okay y'all these are strong mouthwashes so i'm going to take when we open these up we've already got enough everybody's got their own bottle we don't share bottles here around the house um, when one person needs one they'll take a mason jar half half of this go into a mason jar cap it off fill this other half with water back up and shake it and then when it gets down to half again they'll go ahead and add a little bit more in here and with the other mouthwash that's in the mason jar and shake it again if it's getting too potent again they'll add some more water so potentially that is at least eight bottles out of four potentially 12 depending on the strength of the mouthwash so Thank you to Prepper Princess for coming up and mentioning that when I was watching one of her videos because I had never thought about going ahead and doing a half and half with mouthwash, but we have been doing that for a while. We've never had issues. Uh, dental checks are great with my kids, so it hasn't caused a problem there. And it saves us a bundle because we're doubling and tripling sometimes our mouthwash by doing that, and we're still having the effectiveness there. Bacon, $3 for these pounds of bacon. 
One is already being used, so I'm not pulling that out. These four are gonna go into our freezer. Meat stock up is going to be a huge thing, a huge focus for us. Our freezers, y'all, are nearly empty, and we've got four deep freezers to fill back up. Meat for us is a huge focus. My kids are very meat focused heavy when it comes to eating, and they just like their meat. So I am gonna make the provisions for them to have the meat. Now, what I will tell you is things that other people will sit there and say, well, you shouldn't let your kids eat that much meat a week. Y'all, do what you want with your own household. Make your own choices, your own options for your own foods and things of that nature. My kids like meat, so, you know, I am going to portion them out because meat's not cheap. Meat's becoming more of a side item than it is a main dish. But my kids like meat. They're heavy meat eaters, and that's just the way it is in my house. So meat is going to have to be a main focus in this house right now because we need to restock. One thing I want to bring your attention to is something I told my mom not to get and she got it anyways. These three packages of ground turkey. I'm going to put the third one up here. One pound package is ground turkey. I want to say these are $3.49 a pound. Um, I don't have the... I'm sure it says it on here. I can't see it, y'all. I'm going to flip it over in case it says it here on the back. I don't know. Y'all know I can't see, so I'm going to flip-flop them a little bit so you guys can see if there's anything written on the front or the back. I think she said they were $3.49 a pound. I told her last night, please don't pick them up. She did it anyways. Um, but instead of using ground turkey like this, y'all, I have a meat grinder. I got it on Walmart.com last year. They claimed it was like a $160 meat grinder. It was on sale for $64, so it said. Um, I did purchase it for $64, and it's got a couple of different meat uh, grinding plates for different textures and thickness of meat grinding. And I am going to go buy boneless, skinless chicken breast and grind my own meat for a lot less than paying for the butcher or paying for the store to grind the meat and package it for you. So, or basically um, companies to grind it for you and package it as well and ship it to Walmart so or any other store. So if you can get your hands on a meat grinder, please do. Grind your own meat. It'll be a lot cheaper than actually going out and paying for one pound packages. And I know if you buy bigger packages, you'll get a little bit cheaper of a price per pound. But honestly, go get your boneless, skinless chicken breasts and grind your own ground chicken it will save you money mom i hope you're hearing this because my mom does watch my videos <laughs> so if you're hearing this and i know you have a meat grinder because you gave me one on top of the one i already had um i'll give it back to you and you can go grind your own meat in florida <laughs> so that's what i have for you now how am i going to keep up in my busy life with my busy children two of them are homeschoolers and one is at school all the time I just want to show you something that I came up with. Jessica, yes. is this right side up? Yes. Okay, I don't want to show them this upside down. Now, I just rebranded my Etsy shop. And y'all don't need to go and buy anything off my Etsy shop. This is not me trying to ask you to buy this. But this is what I'm going to show you so that when you see me bring these out, you know what I'm doing. I offer this in a 25, a 50, a 75, and 100 pound increments on all levels of these 10 different meats. And this is easiest way for me to figure out how to track what I have in my freezers because I have a deep freezer and I absolutely hate deep freezers, I'll be real honest. I want to switch them out and I'm going to do that in the future with standing freezers. They're just much easier to organize and keep better of where everything's at in things of that nature versus deep freezers. And I know deep freezers has their organizational things, but I don't really like them. I want standing freezers. So that's for future references. Please go turn off this water. It's kind of dripping just. But this is the 25 pack that I have. And you can order one tracker. You can order two trackers. You can order all 10 trackers, things of that nature. These are laminated with 5 ml lamination. So once you use them, you can wipe them off. Jessica, Yes. can you please turn off the sink? Yes. It's dripping. The sink is off. Listen. You hear it? Turn it. Is it the fan? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, y'all. It sounds got my attention over here. Okay, so you can wipe them off after you use them. These are 5 ml laminated. And this is a 25. And I've got them over here in 50, 75, and 100. But I just wanted to show you the 25s. 
as you go through and say you only want to stock up 25 pounds of beef at a time, maybe you're a family of two, maybe you're a small family, maybe you don't eat as much beef, whatever. I'm actually going to use the 100 pound beef stock up one, which looks just like this, but it's got 100 pounds. And I'll show you um, the front page of one of these, um, each one here in a minute. But um, for those who are smaller families or two people in a family or just don't want to stock up that much on beef, you can color these in and all you got to use is an expo marker, a permanent expo marker. And as you're coloring the spots, one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, um, this, once you color all in, you save 25 pounds. Now, what I would suggest is that you get some magnetic strips that you can get in the crafting section at Walmart, cut them, and maybe place them. They got the peel and stick that you can put on the back with a magnet. You can just put one here, one here, and stick it either on your freezer or on your refrigerator so that you can keep track of things of that nature. Mine, I'm not going to do that with. Mine's going to be clipped and put into a binder. So I have access to all of mine at once. And uh, if you need to use a meat, say you're up to 10 pounds of meat, right? And you're getting ready to go buy another five pounds of meat, but maybe you didn't go that week and you only had 10 pounds of meat in your freezer. And say you dived in there and you grabbed two pounds of meat. So you would take some nail polish remover and you would put on a cotton ball, wipe off number 10, number nine, and number eight. And then that would leave, or I'm sorry, 10 and nine. And that would leave you with eight pounds of meat knowing that you went ahead and splurged and got into two pounds of your meat and you only have eight pounds left. And say you went to the store and you added 10 pounds. So then you would color in all the way up to 18. And then you would know that you had 18 pounds of meat. So that's what I have for that. Now I can customize these. I do have a customization um, that you would just have to message me on my shop and tell me, hey, look, I want a different title. Maybe you want it for bacon. Maybe you want it for a specific meat. Um, and not just like beef, but you want it for like steak or something like that. We can make that. We customize also the weight increments that you would like as well. So this is just 25, just to show you. This is the beef. Be careful, Jess. This is the chicken. And again, these are all the 25. And I have these also for, again, the 50 pound weights, the 75 pound um, trackers and the 100 pound. And they're just set up just like this. They just have one through 50, one through 75 and one through 100. Uh, the mixed chicken is, for us, it'll be when I put legs and thighs, when I do leg quarters, and I cut them down into legs and thighs, I'll put four legs and four thighs into one package, and then that would be considered um, the pack for that. So instead of pounds, I might do packages on this. So I might do 25 packages. You can do this your own way. Make these your own if you decide to get them. So I'm just showing you that. I believe this is turkey. Don't quote me. I might have got these out of order. This should be ground turkey. Just as probably going to come see if I'm wrong. You should have pork. Am I right? Ground pork. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. After ground pork, you should have seafood. You should have venison. And for all of you, which was where I was for over almost 28 years before I came, started eating meat again. For all you vegan lovers, because I was... In the vegan world for almost 28 years, I have the, uh, one specifically for vegan meats. So I just wanted to go ahead and show that to you guys. But again, I have this in all these different variations. I will leave my shop link down below because I just sh changed my shop name as of today. So I will leave my shop link down below if you're interested in them. I keep them very affordable because I know everybody right now is dealing with rising costs in food, rising costs with everything else. Housing is a rising cost issue. Food, as I just said, um, trying to prep while you're trying to feed your family and things of that nature. But that's the way that I'm going to start stocking up on my items. I'm going to do this with canned items. I'm going to do this with dry good items and things of that nature. Um, but if you want anything specified um, and tailored to your needs, I don't charge extra for that whatsoever. I can just make out name switches real quick. I can make out weight switches real quick for you. And I don't charge for customization. It's just a flick of a couple of keys and uh, reprinting something else out. So that's what we have for you today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, please always feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And thank you all to everybody who is watching our videos, liking and subscribing. We have hit 6,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody. Catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.